Hello, welcome to my first 1080p recording. I didn't think it would be about this topic, but it is. It's about the Visual Studio 2019 telemetry and not PowerShell. I will explain what those mean right now. Um, if you are using the Visual Studio 2019 tools, this might apply for like the 2015 and 2017 tools too. I don't know too much. I kind of just discovered this. So I wanted to share it that uh, Windows, Microsoft, surprise, surprise, may be tracking you in yet another place. So here's a quick way to potentially disable that. So if you go in here, like I do, I don't really use the, uh, the Visual Studio editor personally. I just use the command line. I mean, I think I have the editor installed right now to do some stuff, but um, that's with third party packages that require it for some, in my opinion, dumb reason. But anyway, I'm always using these tools and I notice that if I go to like the X64 native command tools prompt, like usual, all of a sudden it says Windows PowerShell. Get rid of that. And uh, I thought, well, that's weird because I've been using it and everything. And when I type stuff, it, it's real responsive, which PowerShell isn't. And that's why I never use PowerShell. And there's not a little space right here after the uh, prompt like there isn't. So if I type PowerShell, I only have a really old version of PowerShell on here right now, but you can see it says PS and there's a space there. And if I open up Process Explorer and scroll down here, we can see that uh, PowerShell is open. We have a command, a con host and a PowerShell if you're running a version of Windows for some reason that's older than I think Windows 7, this might look a little bit different, this little process hierarchy in here. But that's normal, that's to be expected. We have that con host that said PowerShell and then I typed PowerShell and made it a real PowerShell instance. But if I back out, type exit, I get back to my command prompt where there's no gap in between the end of that prompt. There's no PowerShell there. And then we go back over here, we can see that there's no PowerShell process in here. So why does this say Windows PowerShell up here for the Visual Studio 2019 developer command prompt? Um, of course, I can very easily just say title command msvc2019 uh, or whatever, and I can change that to whatever I want up there, right? But anyway, I started digging in and searching through the batch files that fire up this prompt of like what is going are they like changing it to powershell you know like what's the deal there if i restart it i have it right here a little shortcut to it so if i click this watch real quick it says native tools command prompt da, 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 and then it switches to powershell like it's what it's doing is it's calling like a little powershell script in the background somewhere and then it's switching back to the regular old CMD command prompt, which I prefer, but it's leaving that title set to Windows PowerShell. So anyway, like I said, I was grepping through the batch files and I was looking for different, you know, PowerShell or whatever, little, just basically looking for the keyword PowerShell. And I stumbled across something that had to do with like some telemetry data environment variables and I thought whoa weird so it's using PowerShell apparently based on this to send telemetry data every time I open a developer command prompt which I don't think is cool especially I didn't opt into that you know telemetry data to me is fine if somebody asked your permission not um, you know jump first and then, you know, easier to ask forgiveness than permission. I'm not down with that from these big tech companies. But anyway, all that aside, after doing a little bit of research, what you can do, I mean, that basically, finding that info right there told me, it, just looking at the script, I could tell that if I just set the the flag that it, um, trying to think about two things at once here that it would obviously probably disable it. I double checked it by looking online and that seems to be the case. It's supposedly an undocumented feature, I guess. So I'm going to go into my advanced system settings here and click on environment variables. And uh, I think in Windows 10, this might've finally, they might've changed this interface a little bit. So it's 
a little nicer looking, a little easier to navigate. But if I go down, so what I have here is I have the variable. And I just put a little underscore in front of it to effectively disable it. So it's vscmd underscore skip underscore send telemetry, one word. Um, and then you set that variable to one to just basically enable it. And I'm going to click OK and OK and OK and close this. And then I'm going to restart this. And you saw how it said Windows PowerShell. Now if I restart it, it says X80 or X64 native tools command prompt for Visual Studio 2019. So now it doesn't say PowerShell. It skipped running that PowerShell script to which attempted apparently to send telemetry data in the background and just by enabling that um that set visual studio cmd whatever it was um skip telemetry or skip send telemetry by setting that to one right there in the global environment is how i did it so anyway i just want to share that with you if you're one of the few people like me that likes to use the uh, command line tools and does not like to be tracked. Thanks a lot.